Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Hello everyone. I have a kind of a little special episode today. I'm about 40 minutes from my home and um, this is the original Betty Crocker house. Um, it is owned by private residents, so you're not allowed in, but they use this property and once a month they have um, flea market antique sale, their little garage, you can see it right now, has uh, you can have for private events. I think there might be like a baby shower or something going on there. Well, let's go take a look. I think there's a sign that talks about the house. And then we're going to go over and check out what goodies the vendors have for sale. There are peacocks roaming around the property. It is just amazing right now. Yeah, this is super cute, whatever's going on over there. <laughs> so, Betty Crocker House, if you ever wanted to know more about Betty Crocker. i got to watch my... Okay, let's go find the sign. Look at it all, guys. Look at the peacock up on the roof of the house. I mean, it's just amazing, just amazing to be able to get in there and look around. So the Clark House and then the Betty Crocker House. So you can read all about the Victorian home was built by a reverend who died in 1893. The property was then purchased by Dr. William Clark, who hosted every social gathering in town. A later owner was dairy operator Arthur Miller, with whom the street, so it's on Miller Street. And then in 1941, Agnes White, the original Betty Crocker. So it wasn't even her name. Her name wasn't even Betty Crocker purchased the home where she installed a model kitchen and cooked for nearly 40 years. So we have to do some research on how Agnes became Betty Crocker. I do not know, know how that is. So there we go. So this party is apparently open to everybody. It's a Barbie party. Very fun. Okay. Like found Barbara? Let's go. We're going to go. I'm going to go this way first. Maybe we save the Barbie party for last. That's kind of, yeah. Okay, let's go check it out. Look at the collection of Wizard the Oz books. Just amazing. Just amazing. Look at those. I can imagine that they're not cheap, but they are amazing. Look at the Scarecrow one, guys. Oh my goodness. 1919, and this one, I didn't look at all of them, is $38, which, you know, if you really, really want some over 100 year old Wizard of Oz books. That's not so bad. This metal, whatever it is. Got this whole back room. Gotta watch my step. So, as small as it is, it's deceiving. There's a whole lot of stuff that is in here. Lots and lots of fun. I don't know how much of this is old. Jedi versus new, but we'll take a look. We found some Pyrex. We found some pink Pyrex. I can't imagine these would be cheap though. These people have to know. Yes, $68. They know what they've got. They know what they've got. The whole primary set. Yeah, they know what they've got and they've got it priced accordingly, but very pretty. Pretty eye candy, right? right. It's Barbie day right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's Barbie day. Okay, we'll just look around. Pay inside the barn. Okay, again, do not think that most of these prices are going to be anything I would want because uh, these are resellers just like me, but just pretty. Workshops, they have workshops, <laughs> lash succulents. Most of the workshops are tomorrow. But so we'll see what they have. Just again, just very, very pretty. Again, kind of like an antique mall. mall. So pretty. So, so pretty. Mixture of new and old together. Not that big of a barn by any means, but 
Betty Crocker barn. <laughs> All the blues. I always go looking for ideas too, right? Old photos on this really cool, was this a Christmas tree? Oh my gosh, I think it was a Christmas tree if you take off that. But I think it was meant for cards, like what you're seeing, it, it's just amazing. Okay, yeah, pretty pricey stuff. So, I would be surprised if I walk out of here with anything today. Again, love the cabinets, right? Just love the cabinets. Molds. Okay, lots of people. So that's good for them, right? And it's early in the morning. It's only 10 something in the morning. Oh, oh I don't know what that was. <laughs> Did you hear that, all ladies? Something, they rang a bell and everybody said something, I don't know. Jewelry. This is interesting, huh? Like the latch. Uh, very interesting. Pretty stuff, that's pretty. I don't wear a lot of jewelry, though. Just not my thing, but cute. Okay, I'll turn you back on if there's something good I see. Okay, I am back home. I didn't buy a ton of stuff. It was just a nice day out. Go check on someplace different. So I got a Jolly Time Vintage Popcorn Bowl. It's just amazing. That's going to be for me to keep. I got all of the different kitchen utensils. They will be up for sale. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Some green, some red handled, and then one that's more of a tealish on the tealish side. We've got the Groovy's 1960s or 70s uh, refrigerator that is a shaker. We've got the tiny little duck salt cellar, just the cutest thing ever. And then last but not least is the Mother Groose hanging plaque, vintage made in Japan. Just amazing. So all those goodies will be up for sale. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, with sharing this with your friends. And we'd love for you to like this video and comment below and let us know what your favorite thing was. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.